South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Today we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Miami Dolphins. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Second and six, just inside the 30. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. Calling a gain of six on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he'll have the Dolphins' first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. It was just third down and short, but he bit off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it. Okay, they got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to run. And that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Now Tua. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. drive Charles we know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL and he showcased it on that play and when you have a guy like that you want to make sure the defense sees him early right you want to see how they're going to adjust how they're going to try and guard it because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is and all it took was one drive he burned them and I don't think it's the last time they call his number in this one and he'll be brought down shy of the 20 so the decision to bring it out of the end zone not a good one Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 18. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Mahomes on third. That is pulled in by a diamond Kelsey. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. And the first down Chiefs. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 
So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 32-yard line. Again, it's Pacheco. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-oh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Now here's Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez scambling. 33 yards. And the Chiefs respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Extra point by Butker is on target. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And as a former defensive back, I'm having no much of physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Now Tua on the bootleg here. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Go ahead. Cut. Play action, now it's Tua. A oh, poor decision there, and it's gonna be intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And what a return as he brings this one all the way back to the 25-yard line. He got out of the pocket there, was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he's able to work free for about six down to the 18. Second down and four. Here's Pacheco once again. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But, partner, if the defense isn't going to adjust and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. This is second and eight. Throwing now is Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. That is caught by Rice for a Kansas City touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. 
Harrison Buckner in a kickoff for Kansas After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by the 